Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you some gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077 running on my Steam Deck. I have the 64GB ROM variant of this device. The game is installed on an SD card. This is the game info section. Steam Deck compatibility marked as playable. This game's default graphics configuration performs well on Steam Deck. Now guys, yesterday I tried out Horizon Zero Dawn. That game is marked as Steam Deck verified. Still, its performance was very bad, terrible. In the city area, I was getting around 20 FPS. And FPS was all over the place, suddenly dropping from 37 to 20. A stuttery experience. A lot of people gave their opinions. Someone said that the SD card was causing the slowdowns, the game being installed on the SD card. Someone said that the 15 watts power limit of Steam Deck's APU was causing the slowdowns. Someone even said that Steam Deck's hardware is not even powerful enough to run the game. Now I'm not sure why Horizon Zero Dawn performed so poorly on Steam Deck, but let's check out the performance of this game. Cyberpunk 2077 is a demanding game. Its performance on the last gen consoles was very rough at the time of launch. I watched a Digital Foundry video, Xbox One console was getting around 20 FPS. In demanding areas, FPS was dropping down to as low as 15. I'm not sure about the current status of this game on those older consoles. Let me just hide the overlay first. This is the red launcher, play. Frame rate limit set to 60, refresh rate set to 60. You can carry them to 40. Not using half rate shading setting. Makes the text difficult to read if you enable it. Not using global FSR. We'll be using the in game FSR. Let me just enable the performance overlay now. These are the graphics setting. I'm using a custom preset. Most of the settings set to medium. There is a Steam Deck preset available as well. It caps the FPS to 30 and sets most of the settings to medium and high. FSR 2.1 set to auto. Increasing its value can make it difficult for us to read the text. Medium. Distance shadow resolution set to low. It's a small display, you won't even notice its effect. Video settings, resolution set to 1280 by 800 pixels. Let's start the game. First, I'll load the city area. We'll be driving around. Alright guys, the game has started. It's raining. All the graphics look gorgeous. City area, we are getting around 35 FPS. DXVK, it translates the Direct 3D 9, 10 and 11 calls to Vulkan. This game is running using DX11. Hijack this vehicle. Mercy. Just need the vehicle. Let's drive around. 30 FPS. Train time graph is mostly a flat line indicating a stable performance. Audio is not cracking. Night city is really something else, especially during the night time. What's with this lighting?
What's going on? Maybe a gangwalk? So 30 to 40 FPS. Okay, now we are smuggling some stuff into the city. Indoor Get area, arms, FPS should increase. Going to grab him. It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which nomad clan? And of your business. I don't think that's any concern of yours. Is that what you believe? You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. Give me my gun. Careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young There's Jackie naive, waiting for us. Which is what happened in there? For ignorant. I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Some dickhead got nitpicky. And that ain't normal? Not to that extent. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Game is only consuming around 3.4 GB of VRAM. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. They are after us. Chase sequence. It's going to be intense. And draw my weapon. There you go. The car should explode. Yeah, explosion did not slow down the hit. I'm taking them in.
I think we managed to escape. A decent performance, 30 to 40 FPS. Performance was much better than Horizon Zero Dawn. So guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.